Hi, welcome to this corporate maths video on working out the estimated mean for group data. In this video, we're going to look at two different examples. Let's have a look at our first one. So here we've got a table and it's the amount of time spent revising by some students for a test. And we've got the time and the frequency. So let's have a look at this first group of this first interval. So this first group or first interval says that the time spent revising by these three students was bigger than no hours. So that's great. They all done some revision, but less than or equal to two hours. Now we don't actually know how long they spent revising. It could have been one second. It could have been two hours. It could have been one hour, one and a half, 55 minutes. We don't actually know. Our next interval, our next group, we've got nine students who spent more than two hours, longer than two hours revising, but less than or equal to four hours revising. These 18 students spent greater than or more than four hours, but less than or equal to six hours. These six students spent more than six hours revising for this test, but less than or equal to eight hours. And finally, these four dedicated students spend more than eight hours revising, but less than or equal to 10 hours revising. Now, normally to work out the mean, we would get all the numbers and we would add them all up and divide by the total number of numbers, and then that would give us the mean. The only thing is we don't actually know the numbers here. We know that the three students here spent somewhere in between naught and two hours. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose, add on a column called the midpoint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, well, they spent between naught and two hours, so a sensible estimate, a sensible guess that they spent revising could be one hour. These nine students spent somewhere between two and four hours, so the midpoint could be, for each student, three hours. These 18 students, they spent between four and six hours. Well, a sensible guess, sensible estimate would be five hours they spent revising. We don't actually know, that's why the question says an estimate for the mean. These six students spent between six and, seven, or six and eight hours, so we're gonna pretend that they, or assume that they spent seven hours revising each and eight and 10, well, we're gonna say nine's a sensible number. So we're adding on the midpoint category. And finally, we're gonna add on a, cat, a column called FX. And our FX is our midpoint times our frequency. And let's see why we would do that. Well, if three students, if we're pretending they all studied for one hour each, well, in total, they would spend three hours revising in total, because remember the mean you need to work out the grand total. So we've done three times one is three. These nine students, we're assuming they've spent each of them three hours revising. Well, nine times three is 27. So altogether, they've spent 27 hours revising these nine students. These 18 students, they spent between four and six hours. So we've said five. Well, 18 times five, that's equal to 90. Our next six students, we're assuming they spent seven hours revising each. So six times seven is equal to 42 hours. And finally, four times nine is equal to 36 hours. So we're doing that to then work out the grand total, the total amount of time spent revising by these students. So we're gonna add up this FX column. So on your calculator, three plus 27 plus 90 plus 42 plus 36. So we're gonna add these numbers together. And when we add these numbers up together, we're gonna to get the answer of 198. So that means the estimate of the total amount of time spent revising by these students was 198 hours. Now, once we know the total, we're going to divide that by the total frequency. Now, sometimes it mentions the frequency in the question, but in this case, we've just been given a table, so we're going to add up the frequency column. So when we do that, we're going to add together the 3, 9, 18, 6, and 4, and when we do that, we get the total frequency in this question is 40. So that means there's 40 students in this class, so it's quite a big class. And now what we're going to do is we're going to divide the total, the 198, by the total frequency. So we'll do 198 divided by 40, and that will give us the estimated mean. So when we do that, 198 it divided by 40 we get the answer of 4.95 hours and that's it so that means our mean our estimated mean for the amount of time spent revising for this test is 4.95 hours okay let's have a look at another example now so this table shows the length of some alligators so we have got that eight alligators have a length that is between 0 and 30 centimeters 43 alligators between 30 and 60 centimeters 25 alligators have a length that is bigger than or equal to 60 centimeters, but less than 90 centimeters. And four alligators have got a length that is bigger than 90 centimeters, but less than 120 centimeters. So to get the estimate of the mean length of these alligators, we're gonna first of all work out the midpoints. So we're gonna add on a column called the midpoints, and we're gonna work out what they are. So these eight alligators have got a length that is bigger than or equal to zero centimeters, but less than 30. Again, we don't know what they are, they could be one centimeter long, they could be 29 centimeters long. So we're gonna choose the midpoint as a sensible estimate. So we're gonna go for 15 for the midpoint. Um, the next alligators, this next category, this next group, we have got between 30 and 60. So the midpoint of that would be 45. And to get those midpoints, if you're not sure, I just add the two numbers together. So 30 plus 60 is 90, and then half it is 45. Our next category, our next um, group is between 60 and 90. So the midpoint is going to be 75. And finally, the last one's between 90 and 120. So these four alligators could have a length 
of anywhere between 90 and 120. So we go for the midpoint and that's going to be 105 centimeters. So we've got our midpoints and now we're going to add on another column called FX. And remember these eight alligators, we're assuming they've each got a length of 15 centimeters each. So to get the total length of those alligators, we're going to do eight times 15. We could add up the eight 15s, but the quickest way is to just times them together. So eight 15s is 120. 43 times 45 is equal to 1,935. 25 times 75 is equal to 1,875. And four times 105 is equal to 420. We're now gonna add those up to get the total length of the alligators. So we're gonna do 120 plus 1,935 plus 1,875 plus 420. And our answer there is 4,350. Now we need to see how many alligators there were. So we're gonna add up the frequencies. So eight plus 43 plus 25 plus four gives us all together there was 80 alligators. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide the grand total by how many alligators there were to get an estimate for the mean length of the alligators. So 4,350 divided by 80, and that will give us our mean. So 4,350 divided by 80 equals 54.375 centimeters. Some students ask, should you round this? No, unless the question tells you to write down the mean um, to a sensible length here. So that's fine, 54.375 centimeters, and that's it. So whenever you're working out the mean, obviously whenever it's for group data, it's gonna be an estimate of the mean because we don't actually know what the exact values of each inside of each of the intervals are. So we just choose the midpoint. When you find the midpoints, times them by the frequencies to get the FX column add that up to get the grand total, and then divide it by the total frequency. Sometimes the total frequency is mentioned in the question, but if you wanna work it out, just add up the frequencies, and that's it.